Hi guys, it's Miss Yetunde here to give you um, a little bit of art time and let's have some fun. So this is an art table I set up. Um, you can set up an art table anywhere that you have the space. You just need uh, a table or if you like to work on the floor, just a little corner. Just make sure it's kind of organized and um, just a space where you can work. Um, okay, so I was trying to think of materials that you would have around your house. Um, so, you know, because you can't necessarily go out to the art store right now. Um, so, I have a journal here, like a writing journal. I think that Hassan in fourth grade in f and uses a journal. Akila in fourth grade, she has a sketchbook. Here's one. Okay, um, you can use computer paper, just regular white paper. This is awesome, we love this. Um, today I'm using a writing pad with a line paper on it. Okay, and you can use any materials you want. Pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you can make a mark with. Um, I have an art cup here and I have some scissors, a sharpener, two pencils. Today, I'm using a marker, plain green marker. Okay, so those are my materials. Uh, so we're talking about abstract art. What is abstract art? I'm listening. I heard you, Dalen. Good job. Abstract art is modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. It uses shapes, colors, and feelings to express an artist's ideas and emotions. And at the bottom, I drew a little bit of abstract art. It's not finished. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Um, my shapes I'm picking, oh, here's one that I did. Um, so with this one, this is on my big sketchbook. I just took some circles and some lines and I drew the circles first and then I went over them and slowly but surely it's becoming a piece of abstract art. It's not finished yet. Um, what do we do with our marker top? Put it on the back so it doesn't what? Dry out. Exactly. Um, I'm just going to use circles and triangles today because that's how I feel. Remember, your art is about how you feel. If you feel like doing squares, do squares. If you feel like doing only circles, do only circles. And honestly, if you wanna make faces, you can make faces, but we're just talking about abstract art today. Okay, so here's how I'm starting. Just a bunch of circles and triangles. After I have the first set of shapes, it's always good when you're making art to walk away from it. Back up, look at it from a distance. Because when you walk away, when you back up, your, your mind and your eyes see it differently. And that's good. So do that and then Go back over your lines, draw in between your lines, whatever you're inspired to do. If you want to work when I'm working, you can do that as well. Because remember, I'm never going to tell you what to make. I'm just gonna give you some ideas we're going to talk about the definitions and then you make your art. And you know what I always say, kid art is the best art. Beautiful. Okay. So every time I feel like stopping, I'm going to walk away from it. When I walk away and come back, I see some things I can work on. Even though it's abstract art, 
I want my shapes to be defined. I'm gonna go over all of them. When I'm drawing with this marker, I'm using the side of it. And that's how I'm getting those nice big lines. And try not to think too much or don't don't overly critique your work when you're making it. That means don't say, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I like this. If you don't like it, put it to the side, come back to it later. Do not throw it away. If you don't like this, guess what? You can turn this into a bookmark. You can turn it into something else. We're not gonna waste materials. We're not doing that. This could be a bookmark or a fan. Or don't make a paper airplane. I didn't tell you to do that. Don't do that. But the point is, don't throw your stuff away. Put it to the side, save the materials. You might like it later. Okay, but you can start over. This is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. Now I started to do my dots, which is also called what? Pointillism, yes. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. But I'm having fun. And that's what matters the most. Remember, also, when you're finished, sign your work on the bottom right-hand corner. I always use my initials, A-Y-A. Aya. -A. You, I would like for you to write your full name, or if you have an art name, write your artist name. Just so we know who made it. Walk away. And also, guys, you don't have to finish it right in that moment. You might want to go take a break. You might want to go eat a sandwich. Who knows? You might need to go and run an errand. Okay? That's okay. You can come back to your art. Just make sure that you are enjoying your process and whatever you make is a lovely creation. Okay, so for today, this is what I made. This is my abstract art. Still working on it, but it's a good start for me. I will come back to it. Uh oh. And you can share yours with me when we come back. Take a picture of it if you want to. Screenshot it and send it to me. And I hope you had a nice time today. Oh, behind me, um, this is Frank Smith. He's an um, artist. He was one of my professors in school. And my brother, Adekoya, did these two paintings. And that's it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.